Hi guys, so I have this planter that was infested by mealybugs. Mealybugs are one of the most common pests in succulents. They're tiny and light gray in color. They get their name from a waxy or mealy white material they produce. An early sign your plants have mealybugs is the white web-like substance you see on your plants. They look kind of like spider webs. Mealybugs are tiny and if you don't know what you're looking for, they're hard to spot. I'll insert a picture right here. A telltale sign that you have an infestation is when your plants are surrounded by ants. And this planter was swarming with ants. The main culprit was, was this green sediviria that mealy bugs seem to love. No matter where I plant these sediviria's, they end up with mealy bugs that attract a million ants. And the next thing I know is my other plants are infected as well. So I finally got rid of these sediviria's by cutting them off and sure enough, the ants were gone the next day. Or so I thought. A few weeks later, as I was taking this planter apart because my husband wanted to use the jade plants here to train us bonsai because they're just the right size, we found more ants underneath. I'll show you how we cleaned this plant out and got rid of the ants and mealybugs naturally without using any harsh chemicals. I don't know if you can see the ants crawling on the ground right now, but I will zoom in to show you. When dealing with a pest infestation, you want to get rid of the ants first before you get rid of the infestation. As long as the ants are there, they will protect the mealybugs or aphids like precious cattle. Ants farm these insects because they secrete honeydew or the sugary substance that ants love. After getting rid of the ants, it's a good time to treat the pest infestation in your plant. Likewise, if you want to introduce predatory insects like ladybugs to your plants to help get rid of the infestation, you need to get rid of the ants first or else the ants will kill the predatory insects. This video will show how we got rid of the old soil, cleaned the roots out as much as possible, then treated the plant with alcohol diluted with water. Like I said, we didn't use any harsh chemicals in the process. If you find yourself in a similar situation with an infestation, you may not want to go through all this trouble. Sometimes the best thing you can do is to get rid of the infested plant rather than risking infecting your other plants, which can happen pretty quickly. In this case though, we wanted to save these jade plants that, that are just the right size for a bonsai project that we wanted to start. So we didn't mind going through all this trouble.
So now I'm just dunking this in water. You can also choose to use soapy water if you want, and that would help get rid of the bugs. I'm just using clean water here. Here I'm spraying it with alcohol diluted with water. Before I end this video, I always like to give an update on how the plants are doing. My husband potted them in this planter and will start training them as bonsai as soon as the plants are ready. These plants are hardy so I know they'll be fine, but since they've been through a lot, it'll take time for them to recover completely. So I'll end my video here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to this channel if these are the types of content you'd like to see. I have a place, playlist of related topics that you can check out down below. Thanks so much for watching and as always, happy gardening! Bye!